Hey guys, how's it going? Stephen here from Harry's Academy. So this video, which will be part five, but it's probably like video six or video seven, something like that. Um, we're going to work on some particle systems. The reason we're going to do this is because, as you can see, the sort of style we're going with, it's a bit pixelated. Even the uh, not pixelated, but it's pixel art. Even the astronaut is. So I'm planning on doing like a um, do like a death particle system because I'm going to put little buzz saws spin around so obviously if you run into it there's going to be a splatter of blood and I'm also going to set up like a respawn so obviously you know you die you're going to spawn back here stuff like that um, you're going to keep doing that and later on you may want to go keep going once you get to a certain point you're going to want to get a hit, uh, hit a checkpoint so we're going to set that up later um, but yeah so just for now I'm going to do a death particle system and then the spawn particle system so so to jump straight in, I'm just going to click on, uh, click save, and then go into my hierarchy, and I'm going to create a particle system. So as you see, it just activates straight away, it's, you know, some bubbles. We don't want bubbles, but I'm just going to drag out the inspector view a bit. So, we don't want it to loop, for starters. We do not want it to loop. And we'll change, like, the duration stuff, let's say... Let's see what to set it to be one second. So we can tell it to simulate. For now, though, I'll have it on loop so I can keep watching it. Um, we'll change loads of settings as we go along. Um, like, for example, the starting lifetime, I'm just going to have that to be to one. The starting speed, I'm going to put this down to three. The 3D start size, we don't need to worry about. The actual start size itself, we'll keep that to be one for now. Um, I just think there's one main. No, 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 no. There's one very, very important aspect that I'm not seeing, and I can't remember where it is. There we go. So down here in the renderer, I'm gonna go to material and default particle layer. We'll go with squares because it's pixels. That's where I was getting confused. So down here, so I've dragged this over. So the main point of this video is to look at the inspector here. So actually, let's drag this out. So, so far, I've just put the duration to be one second. I'm going to change this again later. I've put it on looping now, but we can change it afterwards. Uh, going down to the start delay, one zero. The start lifetime will be one. The start speed is three. So we're going to go to emission here. The rate on the emission, we're going to put it to zero. May sound silly, but uh, we're going to use bursts to give it sort of like a spring but well, not, like, so it jumps out like that sort of thing and uh, let's think how many particles we want we'll keep it 30 for now we'll change this afterwards if we have to maximum particles are a thousand but we don't want to do that play on awake we want to turn that off um, make sure that's off um, let's go down to the shape how do we want the shape to be so if you have a look in the scene view now it's come up with this little sort of diagram, and you can see that's where the particles are going. So you mess around here, you could decide to put a hemisphere, so it does that. And you can see the shape is, well, it's turned into a hemisphere shape. <laughs> put it into a box, like that, it's just sort of very blocky. Oh, that's a lot of thing as well. Uh, over back up here in the particle system, go to the gravity modifier. Uh, put it to 1, see it falls. Put it to 0.5, it jumps up and drops down, but it dies. Put it to 1 so it drops all like that. For the shape, a bit like that. That looks alright to me. Um, the starting size, I should we have the starting size. The starting size could be like that, perhaps. Like that'll do, yeah. Then change the colour. Um, so this is going to be deaf, so. And go for red like that because now what we want to, want to consider is how it actually looks in the game is that enough is that not enough that sort of thing because what you can do the the burst you can put it to 50 a bit more um what else could you do let's think well you can change mess, mess around with the shape a bit mess around with the radius there so let's lower the radius a bit if you wanted to make it make it a bit bigger to so the radius. 
you know, it depends on the effect you're trying to go for. Uh, it may not look very, very good to you at the moment because uh, it's, you know, it's not attached to anything. It's not really making much sense. It's not going to stand out. I'm going to go to the size over lifetime option. And I'm going to just close off these. I'm going to click on the size over lifetime. Oh, click it on so it's on. And then I'm going to click here and drag this up here so I've got some options. I'm going to right click to add a key. And to sort of fade out like that. To me, that looks pretty decent to be sort of a blood splatter. Maybe it's a bit too much, but we'll see. And that's what I'm going to do to this death particle, this particle system here. And I'm going to name it death particle. And then I'm going to duplicate it. So now there's actually two of them. Oh, sorry, I should go to death particle now. We'll turn looping off. So you can stop that one. This one, as you see, it's got looping on. We'll keep looping on, on this one. Because we want this to, uh, well, we want it to loop so we can edit it. So for this one though, if you consider that we're we're an astronaut and we well, we're white, chain it to white, or we could have it as a yellow sort of like yay celebrations. Could mix a bit of color up and stuff like that if you wanted to. Color over lifetime. Click it to its on. So I start it off as white, then I don't understand what's happening now. Let's say we it to fade out to green or something. There we go, that's how you add some other colours. So I say this color, say over here, I'll change this to be sort of like that color. We'll drag this one along. I say about this to be a bit more darker. We don't want to go too crazy on it because then it's just going to look, well, it's going to look crazy in it. I say the end color can be like red. Uh, I don't particularly like that. Okay, I'm just going to do it uh, white to blue at the moment because I, I'm noticing the particles sort of just throwing up in here. Um, let me just think what we want to do. Okay, so this is this is like this is going to show up when we respawn. So we don't want it to look exactly the same as our death because we may get confusing. So let's change the start speed and just half the speed half the speed for now. So it's a, a lot less dramatic already. Um, the, the emissions part, perhaps we want to lower the, lower the burst to 30 there, like it originally was. Put the maximum there to 30 as well. Um, the shape, I mean, I keep it as sphere really, but you could look at other shapes. I mean, not mesh. No. I think when you go for mesh, you're sort of messing around with a bit more 3D stuff. Again, I think particle systems are, in actual fact, um, built for 3D. I don't know. Because if you, if you drop it in to 3D, which no, I was kind of hoping to zoom in there. So this is the 3D view, and you can sort of see it does spread out across all axes. So I do think that they're still all they're all sort of built for um, built for 3D. But yeah, so. Edit it, have a mess around because you don't want to make the exact same as me anyway. So go through it, the duration there, maybe make the duration half the duration as well. You know, make sure you turn off looping as well. <clears throat> so what you'll see, I'm going to click play and I'm going to save it first. I'm going to click play and 
they'll both come on. So you want to look over here. They'll both come on, but they'll only last. They'll only do it once. Well, normally they'd do it once. Um, okay, perhaps I was wrong on that one. All right, no. The reason it doesn't do that is because play on awake doesn't happen. So that's that's why I just made a fool of myself there. Because basically, what we're going to do, like this is how this is what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to have a deaf and an, a spawn one. So in the next video, I'm going to actually set it up to be. Uh, well, set up the respawn and set up the death, what can kill us and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so. What was I saying? So yeah, have a mess around with the particle systems. Change the size over lifetime. Change the colour by the speed. Inherit a velocity. Limit the velocity of lifetime. Have an absolute mess around with these because if you imagine now a 3D game is made in Unity with fire um, and then imagine the scene where you've got smoke coming through it. So, that's made with particle systems. Particle systems can be so much fun. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave the video here because I don't want to like keep doing like loads of real long videos. This is all we need to do is set up two particle systems, and then in the next video, we'll uh, get to making some checkpoints. No, we won't do checkpoints, will we? We'll do checkpoints a bit later on. We'll do normal respawn. Yeah, we'll do normal respawn, and we'll do a death situation. So this is it for this video. So if you want to click like and click subscribe, that would be super big favour to me. And huh, sorry, hang on a second. I realised why there was an issue with what it did. When I said something was throwing up there, that's what I needed to do. So what I've done there, sorry about this guys. Uh, so it starts at 1, and then it comes down, and then I've added a key, but then the last point I've dragged this down. So I'm just going to go back to this one as well. Uh, size of a lifetime. As you'll see, the graph here then. I'll drag this one back up, and drag the bottom one down. Otherwise, that's why I've seen it go a bit weird where it comes because I could say I saw it was shooting out again So the reason is because I did that so that was back up there instead So make sure you do that as well change the size from one and then somewhere along here wherever you want it to be Drop it down to, to base zero Okay, so that's it. Sorry about that guys, and I'll catch you in the next video